Welcome to a lesson on effective yield, also known as effective rate of interest, as well as the annual equivalent rate. In this lesson, we'll determine the effective yield formula for compound interest and also use the formula to determine effective yield. The effective yield for a compound and continuous interest is the equivalent annual simple interest rate that would yield the same return after one year. Here is the simple interest formula, the compounded interest formula, as well as the continuous interest formula. And below, we have the formulas for effective yield for compound interest, as well as continuous interest. This lesson focuses on effective yield for compound interest, so let's begin by determining where this formula comes from. Remember, the effective yield for compound interest is going to be the equivalent annual simple interest rate that would yield the same return after one year. So starting with the simple interest formula and the compounded interest formula, we'll let t equal one for one year, and then we'll let the simple interest rate r be equal to r sub e, which is the effective yield. And therefore, the amount a in both accounts would have to be the same. The amount in the account paying simple interest would be p times the quantity one plus r sub e, and the amount in the account paying compound interest would be p times the quantity one plus r divided by n raised to the power of n. Again, we let t equal one in both formulas to represent one year, and we let the simple interest rate r be equal to r sub e because it would be the effective yield. So now if we solve this equation for r sub e, we'll have our effective yield formula for compound interest. So let's first divide both sides by P. Simplifying, this would be one and so would this. So we have one plus R sub E equals the quantity one plus R divided by N raised to the power of N. And now we subtract one on both sides. So we have R sub E is equal to the quantity one plus R divided by N raised to the power of n minus one, which is our effective yield for compound interest. Let's look at a couple of examples. We want to determine the effective yield for an account paying 4% interest compounded quarterly. So we know R is equal to 4% as a decimal. This would be 0 0.04. Interest is compounded quarterly. There's four quarters in a year, so N equals four. This is all we need in order to determine the effective yield. R sub E is equal to the quantity one plus R divided by N is 0 0.04 divided by four raised to the power of N, so it's raised to the fourth power minus one. And now we go to the calculator. So we have open parenthesis one plus 0 0.04 divided by four, close parenthesis, raised to the power of four, right arrow, minus one, enter. As a decimal, we have approximately 0 0.0406. We do want to convert this to a percentage by multiplying by 100 and adding a percent sign times 100. Notice how I typed in 1,000, so left arrow delete. Now we have 100, enter. So the effective yield is approximately 4.06%. multiply by 100, we could just move the decimal point to the right two places. So this tells us a simple interest rate of 4.06% will yield the same return as an account paying 4% interest compounded quarterly after one year. Let's look at a second example. We want to determine the effective yield for an account paying 7% interest compounded monthly. So now R is equal to 7%, which equals 0.07. Interest is compounded monthly, so n equals 12, which means the effective yield, r sub e, is equal to the quantity one plus, r divided by n would be 0 0.7 divided by 12, or if we want 0 0.07, raised to the power of 12 minus one. And now we'll go back to the calculator. Open parenthesis, one plus 0 0.07, divided by 12, close parenthesis, raised to the power of 12, right arrow minus one, enter. So for decimal places, we have approximately 0 
if we're into a percentage, this would be approximately 7.23%. So the effective yield is 7.23%, which means an account paying 7.23% simple interest will yield the same return as an account paying 7% interest compounded monthly after one year. I hope you found this helpful.